terrible things. But boy, it does. I'm not sure it gets a lot worse than what he said about Jewish people yesterday. Have a listen to this, and then we'll dissect it. I actually think they hate Israel. Yes. I don't think they hate it. I think they hate Israel. And the Democrat Party hates Israel. Any Jewish person that votes for Democrats uh, hates their religion. They hate everything about Israel, and they should be ashamed of themselves because Israel will be destroyed. Let me tell you something, you sick son of a bitch. You don't tell me what it is to be a good Jewish person because you're a terrible human being. You want to say that every single Jewish person in this country must hate Israel and must hate their religion because they don't want to vote for a liable rapist? You sick, demented turd, you. You don't know what it's like to be a good Jew, but you also don't know what it's like to be a decent human being. The guy who wants to lecture every Jewish person in this country, and by the way, those comments are absolutely ridiculous. The idea that if you don't vote for a Republican, or in this case, you don't vote for Orange Man, somehow that makes you a bad Jew, or you hate the Jewish religion, or that makes you hate Israel, is beyond idiotic. And I think anybody with an IQ over 20 would tell you that. This is a man who wants to lecture us about what it should be or should be to be a good Jewish person. A man who only cares about himself. A man who was a liable sexual abuser, the judge again, characterized it as rape, as would I. A man who's never been loyal to one woman in his entire life, cheated on Melania Trump, had unprotected sex with a porn star just months after Barron was born, and now we've learned that Stormy Daniels will be testifying, uh, or is at least allowed to testify with Michael Cohen and others in the case in New York. This is a man whose own ex-wife, under oath in a deposition, accused Donald Trump of raping her with 25 other women who have alleged the same. This is a man who has been sued civilly thousands of times in his life, who's made despicable comments about women on their looks. He's attacked POWs like John McCain. He's called some of those heroes suckers and losers. He said he didn't want black people in his casinos counting his money, but he wanted Jews counting his money. This is a man who has lived a despicable life because he's a despicable human being, a liar, a cheater, a snake oil salesman, and unloyal to everybody, but yet he wants everybody to kiss his feet. He wants everybody to be loyal to him, a man who looks up to evil, murderous dictators. Now facing 91 felony counts, he will be a convicted felon. And this is the guy that is trying to lecture people like me on what he thinks it takes to be a good Jew. And because I don't vote for a liable sexual abuser, somehow that means I hate Judaism. Somehow... That means I don't support Israel, which obviously I do. Not only are these comments idiotic, despicable, and ignorant, but they're also extremely offensive. Where are the Republicans? Where are the maggots calling it out? Well, I'm glad the Joe Biden-Harris campaign put out a statement because this is beyond the pale. And there are idiots on the right that are saying, oh, remember when Joe Biden said, you ain't black if you're not voting for me? Well, first of all, Joe Biden apologized the next day, said he was sorry. And Joe Biden didn't say, you're not a real black person or you hate black people if you don't vote for me. That's what Donald Trump said about Jewish people. And again, Joe Biden apologized for his statement. You won't get an apology from Orange Man. The Joe Biden-Harris campaign did put out a statement, and I'm going to read it for you verbatim. They said the only person who should be ashamed here is Donald Trump. Trump openly demeans Jewish Americans and reportedly thinks Adolf Hitler did some good things. He said the only person he wants counting his money are short guys wearing yarmulkes and praised neo-Nazis who chanted Jews will not replace us as very fine people. Trump is going to lose again this November because Americans are sick of his hateful resentment, personal attacks, and extreme agenda. 
I hope that the Biden administration is right. I agree with that statement. This is a man who has praised Adolf Hitler, who has attacked everyone that disagrees with me, or I should say disagrees with him. He's attacked everyone. And now he's making these despicable comments about Jewish people. Folks, you can't make this stuff up. It's offensive. It's hateful. It's disgusting. But you won't hear them talking about it on Fox News tonight. Sean Hannity won't be playing this audio. No. They'll be talking about Hunter Biden's penis. Laura Ingram won't be playing this audio. Sebastian Gorka didn't challenge him like any decent human being that has any talent at all that does interviews would. No, Sebastian Gorka agreed with him. How could you be Jewish and run a radio station and allow this stuff to be put forth on the air? How? How? I'll take it a step further. I'm not going to say you hate your religion. I'm not going to say that you don't support Israel. How could you be Jewish and support Donald Trump, especially after these remarks? There are so many good people that are Jewish in this country that happen to vote on the Democrat side. doesn't mean they hate Judaism. There are rabbis that are Democrats. It's an absurd statement. I know rabbis that will not be voting for Donald Trump. Does that mean they don't support Israel? Does that mean they hate their own religion? Of course not. It's a ridiculous statement. It's an idiotic statement.